Hey guys, this video is a demonstration of how to use our electronic balances. These balances have what we call a tear function, T-A-R-E, that allows us to zero out the balance with something on there or with nothing on there. So the way it is now with the empty pan, we can weigh something just directly on there. We want to first um, either press the power button, which is right here, or this T button right here. Um, so I'll just press this and see how the screen reads 0 0.000. Little g for grams. So it's important that we always write down three places past the decimal, even if they're all zeros. So let's say I wanted to weigh um, this spoon on the balance. I just open up one of these doors, place it on the balance, making sure it was zeroed first. Close the door. You should always close the door when you're weighing anything. And I would record this number in my data table three places past the decimal. This would be 2.035 grams. Now, let's say we want to measure the mass of some compound that we have to place into a container, but we don't care what the mass of the container is. What we do is we take the container, place it on the balance, make sure I close the doors, all of these doors are closed, and now it, it reads some mass, but we don't care about that. So with that container on the balance and the doors closed, we press the T, the button for tear, and now it will read 0, 0.000 grams with the beaker on there. Now this part's really important, guys. Please make sure that you do not add anything directly onto the, into that container when it's on the balance, because what happens is it will spill, and many of the compounds we use will destroy these balances, and we don't want that to happen. So with this, with this beaker teared out, we read zero on the, on the scale, we take it out, and we add whatever we're measuring into the container. place it on the balance, close it, all the doors, and record that number if that's what we want. If, that, if we need a different amount, we can either take some out or put some more. Let's say I needed to put some more in here. Add it outside of the balance, and that'll give me how much that weighed. Let's say I wanted about one gram. Okay, I need a little bit more, so I take it off, don't add it directly on the balance, add a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. And close enough. So I'd close the door, remember to close the door. Once this settles down, it stabilizes, record that number in my data table, three places past the decimal, little g for grams. If it changes like that, no big deal. Take the second number. Um, always remember to put the tops back on all containers. Now one thing to be aware of with these balances, if you're measuring the mass of a liquid, um, many times what you'll see is when you put it on the balance, close the doors, the mass uh, is continuously decreasing. What's, what's happening there is the, the liquid is actually evaporating with water um, and the mass will keep going down. So what you do in that case is just write down the first number where you see the little g appear on the, on the screen. If something does spill, make sure you clean it up right away. We have these paint brushes all around the room. Clean it off there. It shouldn't because you shouldn't be adding anything directly in the balance, but make sure you keep those guys clean.